Hello and welcome to Cloudit's official YouTube channel. Here you will find various videos related to cloud and futuristic technologies like big data, IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning and security that will help you in getting more equipped with the upcoming technological skills and to enhance your learning skills. In the current video, we'll go over a brief overview of the Microsoft exam at C200 certification, its course objective, outline and exam pattern. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button below and then hit the bell icon to receive regular cloud training updates on our channel. Let's start talking about uh, the certification for a bit. The ST200 is, uh, is curated of about 50 questions. You may uh, consider plus or minus 10 in this particular number. The difficulty level, I'd say it is uh, intermediate to expert, so average to expert. Right, the passing percentage is something that uh, I would want to share some light light on. So Azure, uh, sorry, Microsoft actually validates you between 300 to 1000 marks. Right, and what we have seen is that the passing criteria is somewhere around 720 to 750 marks, which is uh, more or less about 70 percentage of uh, of the score that you can get. Right. Now, the exam includes multiple types of question. Uh, you have multiple choices question, which is the most uh, uh, most known question type. You will you will need to choose either uh, one of four or. Uh, OK. Two of eight or three of eight options that you have to choose for. Usually the one options will have radio buttons and the uh, multiple options will have check boxes, right? That's the multiple choices question. You have a specific type of question which which presents you with a scenario. A solution for the scenario. And it will ask you to choose whether the solution that they have provided will resolve the issue. Yes or no. Right? Now this particular type of question will no longer allow you to go back and change your answer, right? If you have selected one and clicked on next, once you have moved towards the next question, you can no longer go back to this question to modify the answer, right? You have fill in the blank type of question. Now this kind of questions are very unique to, to Microsoft. Uh, it is not actually fill in the blank that we have. We have been known. Uh, it is actually there will be a, a statement. Uh, uh, maybe a, a particular import or, 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 or a particular step that is missing. And what you need to do is you need to select the correct option. From the drop down given. Right, there are chances that you may get hands on labs. Uh, what we have seen since uh, since the exam was in beta that the hands on were not there. But there might be chances that uh, hands on lab may show up right later. There are ordering type of question where the steps will be given to you uh, in a random shuffled order. Uh, and there might be chances that you have been given five different options, but you are supposed to select uh, the correct three in the correct order. Right, so these are one more kind of questions that uh, we have seen in the examination. Now, this examination is divided into multiple sections. Uh, to, to, to do that, I'm going to go back to the blank slide for a second. Each section has their own capabilities. Let's uh, and the once the section is submitted, you cannot go back to that section once again. Let's say your exam started with a case study. And yeah, by the way, there are case study type of questions as well, right? And the case study type of question had question number one to five with the capability of moving back and forth, right? However, as soon as you change the section and let's say uh, the next section is your multiple choices, uh, MCQ and ordering and all those uh, multiple choices uh, section. Once you reach question number six, 
you can no longer go back right and let's say from question number 6 to question number 10 is the capability of the multiple choices question i'm just putting the numbers up for the reference and then the next section comes which is of type yes and no right in this let's say question number 11 to question number 15 is of type yes and no you can only move forward in this place you cannot uh, you cannot go back right let's see the next and then finally uh, you may be presented with one more case study you may be presented with one more mcq section to complete the examination the sc200 actually measures you in three different areas right it measures you to it measures your capability actually to mitigate the threats using the m365 defender suit right and this uh, this particular area has a weightage of about 25 to 30 percent so if we consider 50 questions uh, that are there in your examination about 12 to 15 questions will be there from this particular study area right uh, as you can see directly there is a reference to microsoft 365 defender uh, suit and defender for endpoint right we have uh, the second study area which is again about 25 to 30 percent. Your 12 to 15 questions uh, weightage will be given to Azure Defender, which is revolving around Azure Security Center and some more uh, dependent services of Azure. And the third study area, which which actually covers a lot, almost about 50 percent of your examination, is uh, your Azure Sentinel. Here you can uh, think of getting about uh, 20 to 20 to 25 questions right on this area okay every like i said the percentages they indicate relative weight of each area in the examination and higher the percentage higher the number of questions now someone would say that hey pratik thank you so much for this information but uh, how should i start how should i start working with it how should i start uh, how should i start working on cloud i thank you for the information on security of cloud but i want to start with the cloud and then go towards security on cloud now that we have completed these topics you can get the links to the additional resources for preparation in the description box below to receive timely updates about our upcoming training sessions study guides exam prep material giveaways and other resources to help you upskill Follow us on our pages on different channels. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends if you found it useful. To watch the next module, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified.